Pigs fill these barns here south of Unadilla at Bartling Brother Farms. This is just one of several farms owned by the family in southeast Nebraska. Many of the pigs are ready to head to packing plants for processing, but with plants dropping capacity across the state, there's nowhere for many of these pigs to go. So it's it's a no-win situation. It is, I mean, it's it's I, it's unfathomable at this point to even think about. The situation Jim Bartling is referencing is another devastating chain reaction caused by the new coronavirus. COVID-19 has decimated the workforce of packing plants, forcing them to shut down or slow down. Now plants like the Tyson facility in Madison aren't taking as many pigs from farmers. Bartling says he typically sends 9 to 12 semi loads of pigs to packing plants each week. This week he's sent four. I can't get rid of these pigs. I've got sows being born. I have babies being born every week, so they're coming into the pipeline. Well, if your pipeline is full and every building is full, where do those pigs go? So that's when you get to choose whether they come out the bottom and those are going to have to be euthanized if you can't find a place to go with them. That is the option every hog farmer dreads. You know, ever since I was young, everything we do is to absolutely save every pig, make them as healthy as we can. The financial chain reaction doesn't stop at Packers and the farmer either. Bartling says workers from 40 different families work on his family's farms. But he says the worst effect of the chain reaction would be a food shortage. Everybody needs to eat every day. And if we don't do something and do it ASAP, it, it's gonna, it can really get ugly. Bartling says they haven't had to euthanize at any of his farms yet, uh, but unless things change and if they pack to the absolute maximum capacity, that reality is about a month away. Reporting near Unadilla, Michael Shively, News Channel, Nebraska.